Hello, Will from Coconut Head Productions, and today we got our first LEGO Dimensions set review, and it is of a level pack, the Back to the Future level pack. No, pay, name of this set is the Marty McFly level pack or something, I'm not quite sure, or Back to the Future level pack. It is a level pack, as you know, recommended ages of 714, package number is 71201. Comes with one minifig and two builds for the game. Here is the front of the box. And if we turn it around, you can see that it's got good packaging. I really like it. And here is the back of the box. We'll just zoom in a bit here and you can see that there are three alternate builds for every vehicle you get in this set. And it looks pretty cool. I really like this packaging, but let's move on to this and move on to the rest of the set. This set comes with one instruction booklet and it comes with a total of three pages of building. You're wondering what? And if you are, there are no pages of building. You all gotta do it in the game. In a way, that's cool, I guess, but as you know, I'll probably you're probably not a fan of that and I'm not a fan of it but still if you want the instructions for the builds just go on their website because they're on there anyway now on to the minifigs the only minifig you get in this set is Marnie McFly and I gotta say I've really just got this set for the minifig and the other thing in this set that I'm gonna show you later and really I didn't get the DeLorean I got that sent to a from a fan to review and thank you again for letting me review that set and I missed out on getting the DeLorean and then when I saw this set I went oh should get that and I did get that and with the minifig I do like it I like the guitar piece I don't care that there isn't any printing on it I really don't care for it but it's a really cool piece and useful for mocks and to get it any in this set is still good I like the normal face, it looks good, but the double-sided face I really like more. That just looks really funny and really goofy and really cool. Then I like the torso printing, very accurate to the character, and then he comes with some good back printing. Here is the DeLorean, the main build of the set, and it looks amazing. I really like the design for it and how every piece used for this is used for the next three builds is amazing and how it looks so similar to the version in the movies and then in a micro micro scale it works it really works and it looks great and just some amazing detailing on it no stickers or anything like that but you can take it off here and it will roll around like that so that's pretty cool. It keeps the same design as it looks in game and the doors can open. So that's ordinary stuff, but it's not meant to, but it does and it looks really cool. Now we'll get on to the second build of the DeLorean. Here is the second build for the DeLorean, the electric time machine. And it lives up to that name. It does look electric with all the blue sticking out of it. It's a good vehicle in the game. It comes useful when you need electric powers. But for that, that's really it. It's, to me, the weakest of the DeLoreans. Probably because the other two are very iconic. But this, this is alright. I can see this being good. I do like the design. There are no opening doors like the other two. But still a good looking design. Now on to the next DeLorean. Last build for the DeLorean is the flying version. And I really like this version. It's really cool. It's good in the game. But still a really cool version. Keeping accurate to the design in a really tiny scale. Just looks really cool. I really like the detailing on it. I like what they did with the wheels. It works good and stuff. It just looks awesome. But if we get into a little bit more closer detailing. So you can see they got the detailing on the top right. And the doors open like the first version of it. You can take it off if you want. 
I guess. And with the chips, I forgot to say with the other two builds that make sure not to rewrite them with other vehicles or you are in bad danger for the game. Because this can do a lot in the game and you can just swap from free builds and stuff through the game and just don't get this chip copyrighted with something else. I mean, just don't make anything else go on it because it will screw up the game. Well, for this build and you will be sorry it happened to me and I'm just warning you so now on to the next build of the sets here is the first build for the hoverboard and I have no idea what's going on here but I like it I like the stand for it how it shows off the hoverboard with like lights and stuff but it doesn't come out like that in the game. It's just like, here, we'll pile a whole bunch of bricks on here just to make the hoverboard look cool. And boy, did they do that. The hoverboard is awesome. This is pretty much the main reason I got this set, the hoverboard piece. Now, this is what comes in in the game when you put it in. None of this is in it. But look at that detailing on it. Just so accurate to the movie and stuff. The detailing here is very awesome. And I know every Back to the Future fan will want this. And you can put him on there. So that is a giant bonus. Because, look, it even says hoverboard and stuff. Now, I know it is a girl's hoverboard. But still, everyone will want this piece just on how much influence it gives to the lego community to do more stuff with it now on to the next build you can do with this hoverboard here is the second build for the hoverboard and i have no idea what's going on with this again but i will tell you this from here and down none of it's in the game so it's just the two sound things and the hoverboard I'm fine with that, I'm just not a fan when it happens, but I guess it happens a fair bit in this game as we've seen in Wave 1, but still a great design. Not my favourite out of the three, but still a great design. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I'm a bit neutral on it, but still a good looking design for a hoverboard, a cyclone hoverboard or whatever. Now onto the final hoverboard. Build. The last build of the set is the ultimate hover jet or hoverboard and I really like this design. It's probably my favorite out of all the hoverboard designs in this set. I really like the jet engines at the back. They look really cool with the wings and stuff. I like this the most because it comes out the same in the game and just it looks better looks like it knows what it's doing because the other designs don't know what they're doing but still a great looking thing and now on to my score for this set now to my score if you have the delorean set and you not getting lego dimensions or not planning on getting it this isn't a good set to get if you missed out on the delorean and you want marty mcfly minifig and the hoverboard then this is a set to get if you have lego dimensions and you want to play the back to the future world and the hoverboard and delorean or marty mcfly this is a set to get they're pretty much the reasons to get or not get the set but let's score the minifig the minifig is great it captures the character so for that i have to give it an 85 percent the build the build is in the game so the, they give you the instructions in the game. Not a big fan of that, but I like it as well in a way. But you can download them off the internet if you want. So for the build, I'm going to give it a 75% just because you have to unlock the instructions. That's what annoys me the most. But still a really cool thing. Playability. The playability is high in the game because you get an extra level and the hub world and then two vehicles and one character so for the playability I have to give it a 75% and the design of the vehicles are very good as well so this has been Will from Coconut Head Productions hope you like subscribe and comment and if you dislike this video make sure to tell me in the comments don't just dislike it make try to tell me where to improve and de-improve 
really. So if you disagree with me on this set, make sure to tell me in the comments. Any new film techniques I should try, tell me in the comments. So this has been Will from Coconut Head Productions. Like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.